You are watching a master at work. Back at it with the good guys. Good old Chef Iron Mike hooking us up with some goodies. Pour ourselves a drink for him, for the legend. So he's a whiskey and coke guy. So we're going writer's tears whiskey because we're writers and we cry a lot because you know when you're a comedian there's a lot of hard. Oh. What tape did you use? He's a Chef Iron Mike tape. This is Iron Mike. Oh. They probably should have put some ice cubes in this, but you know. What's that? Oh, oh it's it's dope ass. I uh, probably can't see that, sorry. <laughs> Whoa, bro, Oh, show his that branding off. ain't messing around, dude. Bro, that is sick, dude. That on me. Oh, that's a tight one. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Mike, loving the branding, dude. Dude, the branding on these boxes is insane, too. Oh, my God. Look at this little. This is what the front of it looks like. Wow. So if you saw our previous video for Chef Iron Mike, we had three different foods, three different sauces. This looks exactly like my sister. Really? You don't yeah. have a sister, do you? That's her. Today is no different. First off, I see this buffalo is just shooting flames out his nose hole. It's called <laughs> Blazing Buffalo Ghost Pepper Hot Shot Wing Sauce. That's incredible. So we're gonna have that on some traditional wings. And That's then we got, what else we got? We got Pirate Booty Call Mango and Scotch Bonnet Caribbean Style Hot Sauce. Okay, I think that one's gonna go on boneless wings. So we've got traditional and boneless? Yeah. What's this last one? This last one's gonna be for quesadillas. It's Burning Bandita Sriracha Very. Yeah, that's our case. We're doing that one on quesadillas. Oh, yeah. Bro, I don't think this lady knows how short her skirt is on this. She is one. showing some stuff. Yikes. It is Monday, Chef Iron Mike. We're getting Monday drunk. It's Iron Mike. Oh yeah. Yeah, cause I'll be swinging like orangutans, moving through the trees like the avatar and white fang. Yeah, you know I do this all the time. You know I got poetic rhetoric that always rhyme. I got my hands cocked back and I'm southpaw swinging. Charlie Sheen flow, so you know I'm always winning. Yeah, and you know I can't let it be. I'm like the lead role, you like sidecast B. Shit, so get the fuck out my face, cause I don't care who you are. I'm out here running this race. I would Hot tips. This is the only cheese you should be getting for homemade quesadillas. Chihuahua, baby. It's where it's at. You don't get it. I'm like cortisone, allergic to the game, so I'm here. The only way Monday should start is right here on this couch. Ladies and gentlemen, not only is this a special occasion because of Chef Iron Mike, Corey Michael Wagner just whipped up a homemade quesadilla. I hate dead spots on quesadillas. Showed him a couple of my tricks. The cheese, Sean already knew that because he's a genius. But if you take the tortilla, the top tortilla, and you rub it in butter before you place the bottom tortilla in the pan, then you're gonna have some butter for your frying on the top. It's bright. And here's, bright. here's one reason why those tips are so imperative today. That's only gonna accentuate the hot sauce, my babies. Mm. You, know, you can put as much hot sauce as you want Famous. on crappy made homemade food. It's only gonna do you so much. You gotta know how to cook a little bit. That's the truth. We also ordered, I woke up in feast mode, which is their tagline, sadly. Wing stops, both traditional and boneless wings for Chef Iron Mike's more traditional buffalo and hot sauces. Some Duked about. So, so what's what's stupid. the plan of attack? What should we start with first? Probably the quesadilla. This is what you we think so? I, I, I don't think want so. this to get cold. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so once again, what do we got? What so is that's this? That's the verde, right? This it is, is. The burning bandita. Oh, it's it's bandita, not I bandito. Know. Feminino. Hey, how's the beef? Oh. You missed it, buddy. A lot of femininas. Some major femininas. Burning Bandita mm -hmm. Sriracha Verde, my friends. Okay. Thanks for sending us two packages of this. Dude, boss Now we got move. some for outside of the show as well. Boss, boss move. All right, so we got Corey's chicken. We got that ch uh, uh, Chihuahua cheese. Some, are these whole wheat tortillas? Probably, that's what I usually buy. I, don't, I didn't check. Homemade Corey quesadillas. I'm so excited for the Chef Iron Mike Verde. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Okay, first of all. That cheese? No. The way you cooked it. Thank you. Thank you. I make right. a good quesadilla. You really do. But that hot sauce is pretty good. I like that very nice. It's definitely got a kick to it. One might say that if you're with someone, either mm. in a web series or in a marital status, mm -hmm. that can make a good quesadilla, that's all you really need in a relationship. That's the way to the heart. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. We put some inside of it, you saw. I'm gonna get the full. Mm -hmm. Can you give me a dump on it? <laughs> Make sure you say to people, can oh, you yeah. give me a dump on? All right, here we go. I'm going the topper on top of the dilla. Oh, that's good. Mike. Home look, run. At, look at Mike flexing on the box. How do they get his nice photo of him? Yeah, dude. Man, that is, you look a little different than most people. Dude, that is really good. This robot has forearm tattoos. Oh 
my god. You think that's, um, do robots do tattoos with laser? Yeah, they laser, they, they, they laser etch. Yeah, it's laser etched. Jalapeno and serrano peppers, tomatillo, cilantro, garlic, and onion, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, enchiladas, or any of your favorite Mexican dishes. Caliente! Well, this young lady will make you leave your wife. <laughs> I have trash is good. It's really good. Great verde. You a fan? You're Dude, fan? Serrano. I need to get that back on my grocery list. I used to buy Serrano a lot, mm -hmm. and then for some reason I just got lazy. Uh, so I, I don't know, just a lazy by nature, I they're suppose. Heavy. They're heavy. <laughs> but I need to get those back in my game. I know. They're so good. Um, also, well, I mean, it tastes way better when you've had whiskey and Coke. Chef Iron Mike was is a fan. He's a fan of whiskey and Coke, and he was like, you guys should just get yourself some drinks, too. And I was like, I think Chef, Chef Iron Mike might be the most ideal fan of the show. Because at, at his heart, he's a fan of the show. But he also has 35 years of experience in like restaurant and cooking. So, okay, okay. almost four decades and then you're making hot sauce? Yeah, I think I trust you. No, no kidding. Mm -hmm. I thought you said restaurants and cocaine. Restaurants and cocaine. Braised buffalo ghost pepper hot shot wing sauce on traditional wings. And as we suspected, like we said before, this buffalo has been somehow combined with Arnold Schwarzenegger from the 80s and he's doing all sorts of injections. Our farm products feed the world and our technology is second to none. The fact that this buffalo is breathing fire out his nose holes impresses me. Oh, it impresses me as well. Chef Iron Mike, a traditional wing, happy to be here. Cheers. Cheers. Oh man. Okay. The flavor profile for that is something. Ghost pepper, baby. Dude, that is tasty. Cayenne, garlic pepper, butter, garlic, onion, celery, and a touch of honey. No wonder Which I like is it. you, yeah. Dude, this is... Wow, this is a really good. For being ghost pepper, ghost pepper usually isn't this flavorful, I feel like. Really good hot sauce companies know how to kind of take that bite back with a little bit of honey. Like add mm -hmm. in other things where it balances out the flavor profile. Bro. And Chef Iron Mike's flexing on them, dude. Wow. This is really flavorful and good. Dude, I am about it. Surprised. I usually get overtaken by heat and I'm not getting such good flavor. This is really lesson learned. Don't ever doubt Chef Iron Mike. And as we said, we like serrano peppers. Ghost peppers are my favorite pepper. Oh, Tasting, right. yeah. Ghost peppers, if I could only have one type of pepper for the rest of my life, ghost pepper would be, gun to my head, the pepper. No kidding. So this is really great for me because this is like combining a very spicy pepper with great flavors. Gun to my head, salt and pepper, for sure. The salt pepper? No, the band. That's oh. I can get mm. one pepper for the rest of my life would be pepper from salt and pepper. Okay. Well, that I appreciate and that I respect. Mm -hmm. Those are both so damn good. Definitely dude. some kick in it too. Yeah, oh, it's got the heat. It's on the tail end a little bit. And it tastes buttery. I like that. Ladies and gentlemen, after Corey just garthed himself. I did garth myself. And I really like that. Here's the lady showing her behind. Oh boy. Very up and close. Bro, I am so ready that it hurts. Pirate's Booty Call Mango and Scotch Bonnet Caribbean style hot sauce. So this has Scotch Bonnet peppers and chili peppers. We've had Scotch Bonnet before, yeah? Oh yeah. The whole gambit of peppers on this channel. I would imagine at this point. Yeah. Boneless, back to our roots of just dipping. Chef Iron Mike, the last of this round. Can't wait for the next batch, baby. Cheers. Cheers. Oh boy, this is like a curry flavor a little bit. Mm-hmm, oh, mm -hmm. that's so good. Love the mango that's coming through. Mm-hmm. That fruitiness. Mm. Mm, you're right. Mustard, curry, cumin, and a splash of anise. That's a, who's niece? I think Mike's niece. Uh, niece. Mmm. Wow, that's my favorite. They're all great. That one, like, is taking me on into a different level. If you like Indian spices, yeah. oh, you're gonna love this, dude. I'm gonna dip, dip I think in a little bit of this. My too. favorite's this buffalo one. Okay. Or that verde, but I love, this is like a special occasion one for me. Right. As Indian food tends to be in my life. Mm -hmm. Because curry is so specific and flavorful. Right. I have to be in a certain mood. Right. So this is gonna be like my one of my favorite. Man, I think it's a buffalo. God, that's totally fine. This is tough. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna mm. get a weird. I'm gonna get weird for you, babies. I'm mm. gonna put some of this on here because I can. I got pretty good. And you know what? Not one person watching this video or this channel is gonna be mad. No, nope. I think I'm gonna dip some of my quesadilla in this uh, buffalo shot. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be my last one. Mm. Man, these are. Dude, these are really good. We are paid zero dollars if you buy a three pack of this sauce. Zero dollars. But I'm telling you what, if you're looking for a good package of small batch hot sauces, Both also, are. how fun is drinking? I'll tell you what, I love it. We are bad influences. <laughs> These are both so buttery. Both the curry one and this one are so buttery and I love it. Another reason why buttery hot sauces are so good is it coats the food better. 
Mm -hmm. I don't want to pick up a wing and then have it dripping right off like then. water. Yeah, dude. The butter-based sauces give a good coat, like a nice north face on a winter day in Chicago. Ain't that beautiful. Yeah. Wow, my mouth is burning right now. It's bandita burning. It really is. For some reason, dipping that quesadilla in that made it like exponentially higher. I feel like it did. <laughs> Or maybe it's mixing two hot sauces. Mm -hmm. Dude, it is, you're right, because it's got the green on it. Yeah, the verde and the and the buff. This is really good, dude. This is, dude, all three of these. Home run, home run, home run. That's a good game. Getting a little sniffles? I'm getting some sniffles from there. Oh, my mouth's on fire, but I feel really good. Bro, yeah, favorite flavor to punch. This is uh, F to P. This is the this F to P ratio is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Go buy some stuff from him. Dude, good for him. He's a small little chef doing his thing, babies. Go get it. People are buying the hot sauce that we like. This is worth getting, I think. This is this is the upper echelon of great sauces. And also very distinct flavors. Very distinct. And very buttery. Not you like blend. butter? You oh. like butter? You're That's my like... favorite part about these. These are some buttery ass hot sauces, and I dig that. Look at this, dude. We get to still tap into this. Ain't no thing, dude. All right, so I guess we've kind of set up, but on the count of three, real quick, your favorite sauce of today. All right. One, two, three. Hey! Yeah, I'm going the booty of the pirate. I almost went with the Verde, but this brazen buffalo ghost pepper, like, oh baby, dude, it's it's Can't that it's that extra buttery flavor I'm getting. It's so good, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I love that in his emails, he like choreographs out the. He's not just like, yeah, go get some chicken wing. He's like, all right, this sauce fits best with traditional. Yeah. This sauce fits best with quesadilla. I remember the last time we with did that, tacos, like that uh, Vesuvius sauce with that uh, deep dish pizza. So mm. that Italian sauce is going with hot sauce. Dude, it's still in my fridge and every single time I have a leftover piece of pizza, you know that's going on it, dude. This dude knows how to how to uh, curate a meal. That's for that's for certain. ChefIronMike.com if you'd like to get his stuff. The link is below. I like we said. It. If you're looking for stuff, I'd suggest getting it. We're not getting paid if you buy the sauce. So this is just an endorsement of fans of hot sauce, of people that do it well. That's what we're about. Endorsing the top-notch dogs. That's all we're trying to do, dude. Real, real respect's real. Chef! Even though Mike's watching, I'll have a drink. Mine's out though. I'll suck on some cubes. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Suck on that. Yeah, so just wait until my prompt is this nothing. I'm just getting used to talking all the time. Shit.